Benjamin Makor, a civil affairs officer serving with the UN's mission field office in Rumbek, in the western lakes of South Sudan, recounts tales about the genocide against the Tutsi in Rwanda. Today they are living side by side, not as Hutu or Tutsi, but as Rwandans. If they can do it, so can you, he says to the crowd of people from the Panawur tribe. These people are attending a peace mediation meeting that aims to help end hostilities between them and the neighboring Panagong tribe. Among the crowd is 30-year-old Machama Thang, who has recently been released from prison after being found guilty of inciting ethnic violence between the two warring tribes. The United Nations team, together with local authorities, met with the Panawur community to hear their grievances and will soon have a similar meeting with the Panagong. It is hoped that the two warring sides can be brought together to agree on a way to restore peace. We need to intervene to ensure that we bring both parties together. So as a result of this, we have established the Peace and Reconciliation Committee a 13-man committee, including three women, in order to come together so that we can address this issue. 49-year-old Victoria Amal Green is a member of the committee. She lost two of her sons in this tribal war. Tired of the senseless killings, rape, cattle raiding, looting and displacement, the Panawur community say that they are ready to give peace a chance and bring an end to the violence that has been part of their social fabric. Efforts are underway by local authorities to stop the proliferation of small arms among civilians in what they call a voluntary disarmament process. It is hoped that this process will reduce deaths. If the guns are collected, everybody will be calm. Because what we encourage the conflict is these small arms. But the government is now disarming the civil population. Everybody will relax and they will accept peace. Those, this peace is going to be achieved. The conflict between the Panawar and the Panagong is not unique. Tribal wars and revenge killings have been rampant in South Sudan. There is hope that durable peace will come so that the people of South Sudan can live without fear and enjoy a brighter tomorrow.